Hey, welcome to Picture Line. My name is Burke Lee. And I'm Dane. We're here to talk to you a little bit about the GoPro 7. He Hero 7. Hero 7. Yes. And so uh, we've been waiting for quite a while for a new GoPro to come out. And they finally have announced it. And we're real excited about the new features there are on there. So if you're tuning into this live stream, feel free to ask some questions. If you have any thoughts about the new GoPro, um, we're happy to answer them. That's why we do this live stream. So we got a demo in our hands just the other day, and we're, it looks very similar to what you had before, but there's some cool new features, and Dane's going to talk to us a little bit about these new features. Yep. So, kind of like the older GoPros, this new GoPro Berkeley comes in the three different variants, the black, the silver, and the white. Okay. This is the Hero Black, and it's their top of the line. Can we say flagship GoPro? I guess we can. What, why <laughs> would I want one over the other? Um, one of the one of the biggest things with this one is it's li it can do live streaming. So in the past, uh. people have always really wanted to do live streaming with a GoPro because one, you can strap in places. They're really easy. You can live stream you riding down a mountain or in just a simple live stream environment. Like if you just want to set up a live stream really easily. A GoPro is stupid simple. So can we do it on like YouTube or Facebook or any of those platforms? You can. Anywhere where you can live stream. Okay. I that's, believe. That's I, actually I, pretty sweet. I think so. Um, but here's the thing that's inter why this is another big deal. In the past, I've tried to live stream with GoPros and you had to add a third party app and it was just, the functionality wasn't oh. quite there. And so what they packed into this is they have a new processor that they can handle the video and send that over Wi-Fi to your phone, and it's your phone that sends the stream oh, up to the internet. It? Yep. Oh, okay. So it does a really good job with that, and that's I think that's going to be probably one of the biggest um, game changers with this this new GoPro is the live streaming. Okay. Now, now, about two minutes ago, I watched you run through the store with it on your chest. It actually looked pretty good. <laughs> so. GoPro has this really high goal of we want to eliminate the era of shaky video. They want to say they they're saying that shaky video is dead, Berkeley. Um, I hope you're right. <laughs> so on each GoPro, it gets a little bit better, a little bit better. The Hero Six was actually really good. They had stabilized video even in the 4K, but now they call it hyper stabilization okay. with this new one. Explain. So, kind of, you're familiar with gimbals, right? So it's like yep. a thing, when it, with a gimbal, it stabilizes the camera no matter where you're moving. Now, they just done it digitally. It's all within inside the camera, okay. but it's, Hyper's a really good version of it because it's really, um, really aggressive. Like, even just doing this, so if you want to hold the phone, I don't know if they can, they can see that on the live stream, but like, it kind of just really, I mean, you'll still see shake, but even just, even just, like I'm just doing a light jog right now, and it's really smooth. And on GoPro site, they advertise it with, uh, like they have it on a biker, and he's going off big jumps, and in comparison to a non-stabilized video, it's a night and day difference. Wow, that actually is pretty sweet. Yeah. It works great. So, but that's, what's neat about that is, it's cool that we've had gimbals now for all these years, but now you don't even need a gimbal. It's but almost- if, But you could put it on like a Karma Grip? Yeah. You could you could put it on a you could put it on a gimbal if you really wanted to. Okay. Um, but you can run you can run lightweight without a gimbal and it's really great. Um, I do want to say another thing about the Hero Seven is they've made it even more rugged. Oh. So I mean, GoPro's known for its really rugged cameras. They've all been waterproof. They've so is this one the way it sits is at thirty three feet and then you can get the deep housing. You can get board the deep. Also. Yeah, we we'll go even deeper. So, and then they just, you can feel it, it's a little heavier, it's just, it just has a, you can feel that this has a much more solid build. I'm almost willing to throw it on the ground. I'm not going to do it though, Berkeley, don't want you worry. <laughs> I told him to, but our rep wouldn't be too happy with this. <laughs> yeah, but it, it definitely feels more rugged. It feels like you could play baseball with this and it'd be fine. So it's a little heavier, okay. Yeah. What else are we missing? What else we are we missing? Talk about? It has HDR photos. So now it has Ooh. kind of what the new iPhones have is a smart HDR. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to turn it on. It just does it. Snap a photo and your highlights come back there. They come back down. You get detail in the, in the shadows. Um, so that's really impressive. Okay. Um, What's the difference between the black, silver, and white? Oh. 
difference between black, silver, and white. We can, I guess it starts with the white. Start with the white. So the seven, let's, t let's talk about what the seven has, because then the heroes, the silvers and the whites are what they don't have. The okay. seven has GPS, it has the hyper stabilization, it shoots 4K 60 frames, it has a wide dynamic range. The black we're talking about. The, this one in my hand, yes. Okay. It's ultra rugged, ultra waterproof, magic. Live, okay. live streaming, that's the other big one. Okay. The silver. Silver is the 299 one, right? Yep. That one does not do live streaming. Okay. It'll do 4K in 30 frames. It does have GPS and it does have a wide dynamic range. So a lot, really nice color. Okay. Doesn't do the the HDR photos, if I'm not mistaken. But that's a pretty screaming deal for 299. Yeah, and then the white version. The white version is only 1080. No GPS, no wide dynamic range, no hyper stabilization. So it that one's. Um, I wouldn't say it's like a, a, a an inferior experience, but it's just more streamlined. They all have screens on the back. They um, they're all touch screen. They're all touch screen. They okay. all use the same batteries, um, and they're all going to get great images. The silvers and the whites don't have this front screen. Oh, that's that's, out, that's not in there that's anymore. That's the difference. Okay. Yeah. So also, uh, audio deal inputs. Breaker. We can still audio input to any one of them with the adapter cable. Yep, into its USB-C, right? USB-C, and there looks like there's HDMI also. Oh, that's C cool. Am I correct? Yeah, I think that's new. For, my six doesn't have that. Well, I could you heard be it from us first. <laughs> that's nice. Um, and these are going to be available. I was told by the rep on the thirtieth, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, so we should Coming actually here have soon. them here in our store on the thirtieth, ready to sell there. Nationwide, they cannot be sold by anyone until, I think, the 30th. Now, hopefully we have some people watching us right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Question and answers. Do we have any questions and answers? Do you cover prices? Prices, we did. $199, 299 and 399 $399, yep. So it's $100 difference each. Yep. And, uh, you know... Who's talking about live stream? We're live streaming. Welcome. Welcome, Yens. <laughs> Welcome. We're talking about the Hero 7. <laughs> It's a great little camera. We had a cameo from Yentz, <laughs> our fearless leader. Uh, um, no I, there's, for us. Well, I have one more thing now that I remember it, Berkeley. Um, so the 7 now will auto-transfer your photos and videos to your phone. Oh. So before you had to go into the phone and pull them across, There's an, the Wi-Fi network is improved somehow, but it'll okay. automatically transfer them really quickly because their GoPro's trying to kind of eliminate that step from transferring from camera to phone and so you can start sharing right away i know some of the older ones were a little bit cumbersome to get them yeah. to your phone so hopefully that they're, process they're, is simple simplified they're claiming that that step is just gone it's just auto automatically transfers it's easy and then okay. the seven because since it has the gps you can add stickers so if i were running with this on a trail filming myself having a good time you in the gopro app i can add the sticker with the gps trail that i ran including oh. my altitude, the elevation gain, my speed, and it, it overlays that into the video, so when I share that to Instagram or to Facebook, I can prove how fast I ran and where I ran. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's really that it works with some of the running programs that are out there. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's great. Yeah, so it's a really powerful, powerful little camera. Well, if you have questions, please call us at Picture Line, 801-364-1200, send an email, uh, sales at pitcherline.com or whatever, however you want to be. You can come in and visit us. We'd love to see you. And I think, I think we're good to go. Thank Sweet. you. Thanks for tuning in.